guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an easy Jack Skellington makeup tutorial. And I say easy because it doesn't require a lot of shading and dimension. It's just a little bit more just like lines and whatnot. And when I did this tutorial, all I used was a ColourPop liquid lipstick in, I, I think you can guess, Friday. And then I used the ColourPop lip pencil in Exit. And then I had to use a little bit of white paint that I had left over from last year which really wasn't much just to kind of touch up the outer parts because halfway through the tutorial I ran out of ColourPop Exit and I was like so <laughs> uh, I had to improvise because I didn't have any other white um, eye pencils or anything comparable I ran out of the white paint last year but I was able to scrape some of the pot out just to just to get a little touch up so that's why it's not like perfect for you guys and you know, it's, I did You have to use an eye pencil to do this look. So I had to get really creative since I had no money and I only had to use whatever was in my collection. But I did really like the black liquid lipstick. I actually think liquid lipsticks are fantastic makeup products to use for Halloween tutorials. They are amazing. I used it in my uh, zombie makeup tutorial and I'm sure I've used it in other tutorials too. But that is what all of the black is the liquid lipstick and then most of the whites particularly towards the center is the ColourPop uh, exit eye pencil so that is what I did in this tutorial so it's really not too hard of a tutorial if you're going to try to step into a skeleton tutorials this is a good one to start with and then I didn't know what to do with my head because Jack Skellington's whole it's like a big round white head so I put my hair in a hairnet and then I put on this white beanie, which of course it's like Under Armour, so like there's stuff on the sides. But that's just an idea. I'm sure there's probably some sort of like white ball, like white cap that you could get if you wanted to do that. But I just don't have the money for it. So this is what I did from what was in my room. And then I kind of have like a suit. You can't really see it, but I have like a suit jacket on just because he kind of seemed more dressed up in the picture that I was looking at. He had like a neck thing on, so I just put on a black choker. But then again, it makes my neck look smaller and fatter when his is like really tall and thin, but whatever. Oh my god, I have an itch. Oh. Oh. God, tap it. And I wanted to do this tutorial for you guys this year because one of you had asked for a Tim Burton inspired makeup tutorial and what I want to do every year is do a different skeleton look because there's so many different skeletons out there. I've done the horizontal skeleton, um, I've done the... I've done the full face skeleton which even covered my chest and now I have the Jack Skellington skeleton look so I want to do a different skeleton look each year there's so many more that I could do uh, but that's what I wanted to do this year especially since one of you asked for a Tim Burton inspired makeup look maybe I'll do another tutorial I'm not sure yet we shall see all right if you guys want to learn how to get this Jack Skellington look then just keep on watching first thing that we got to do is pull our hair back I decided to pull, put mine up in a top knot, but you can also, what I wish I would have done is put my hair in a hairnet from the very get-go, but whatever works for you is fine. I haven't done a Halloween tutorial in here. For the first step, we are going to go in with the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in Friday. So this is just a black liquid matte lipstick. I absolutely love using liquid lipsticks for Halloween tutorials. They just make life really easy because they have a wand. They have long staying power and it makes it easy to create lines and circles and get into hard to reach places. So I would recommend doing that, but I will warn you, you're not supposed to use lip products and what I'll later get into eye products either on your face. So just know that it is a risk. You may get have skin irritation from it. It just depends. I only had this look on for about 30 minutes and I didn't experience any irritations from it but it is possible that that could happen, so just letting you guys know. So to create the eye, I'm not making a full outline. What I'm doing is I'm working my way from the inside and then out. So I know for sure that my eyelid and my brow bone and everything, and my eyebrows are gonna be covered. So I wanna cover that first, just to get an idea of where I'm gonna be going with the eye and how much I want to expand it. So I'm starting off where I know for sure I will want to put color. And I also know that I'm gonna to wanna to put it right underneath my eye, so that's why I'm going in there uh, to fill in underneath and then just slowly creating a circle around my eye and expanding it to get it to the right uh, amount of circle <laughs> to make sure that it is big enough and the right shape. And as I'm doing this too, I am referencing the Jack Skellington 
a photo on Google that I found just as I'm doing this just to get a better idea of how I want it to look. So after referencing the photo again, I definitely want to make my eyes bigger and they need to get higher up on my forehead because Jack Skellington's forehead isn't that high. So I'm taking the liquid lipstick and going right above my eyebrows and I'm also going to expand out and below. And as I'm going, I'm stopping, I'm looking at the camera and actually kind of semi-closing my eyes to see how it's looking overall. Because it's easier to tell how it's looking if your eyes are kind of shut so you can get the overall effect. So that is what I am doing here, just taking my time, slowly expanding, not being a perfectionist about the lines around the circle because I keep expanding it anyway, and I'm going to end up cleaning it up later. So there's me checking again just to see how it's starting to look. Uh, so I have to kind of squint a little bit just so I can see, but yeah, it's good to kind of see, look at you, what you're doing as you are going, get a better idea of what you want to be doing moving forward. And next we're going in with the Wet n Wild Max Fanatic Mascara and I'm putting that on my upper and lower lashes, wanting to make sure that the lashes are as black as possible so that way uh, whenever I close my eyes it looks like my whole eyes blended together as much as you possibly can. Next I'm going in with the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth and I am just touching up the eyes so I'm just going around the rooms making sure that there isn't anything too too out of place and it's as straight as possible. A little texture is kind of fine. And it's not absolutely perfect because not everyone's perfect, but I'm trying to get it as smooth as possible so it doesn't look like there's a mistake. And as I'm going, I'm also using a little piece of toilet paper just to touch up some of the spots that I've already put makeup remover on. Then after carefully examining my eyes, I realized that this eye right here wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be. So I wanted to go a little bit in more towards my nose and straighten out the eye. So I'm just touching up with the black liquid lipstick from Colourpop just to make everything look as perfect as possible. Also, while you are doing this tutorial, make sure that you're drinking as much water as possible. You are going to get thirsty and there's a certain point in this tutorial where you can't drink or eat anything. Now I'm going with the Colourpop eyeshadow in Tassel. I put this on my nose just kind of as a test and I realized that it was just too thin. I would have to stack a lot of the eyeshadow for it to really pop. It just looks more like I have a glittery nose. So I decided to go in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in Exit and use that as my I guess, white paint substitution. So that way I can fill in the rest of my face. Now this is not a brand new e.l.f cream gel liner and exit. I have used this before so I was getting pretty nervous trying to use this in this tutorial because I was like oh my gosh what if I run out. So because I knew there was a possibility that I would run out I started with the center of my face and then worked my way outward. I figured the most important part would be around the center and then I also started tracing around the eyes so I wanted to make sure that I did that as well. So focus on the center and then focus around the eyes and then you can start working your way outwards. So make sure you cover what's most important if you're worried that you're going to run out of product or time or whatever so you don't want to rush the center part, rushing the outer part would be the better way to go. Especially when you're tracing around the eyes, you want to make sure that that's when you take your time as much as possible. Like I said, I am just going to be focusing on the center of my face and working my way out. I also want to make sure that I get down to the lips, not just focusing on the center on the top upper part of my, my face, but also getting towards the lower part. And also keep in mind with ColourPop Cream Gel Liners, they tend to break off very easily, which was also making me nervous doing this tutorial with this, but this is all I have. So I uh, decided just to go for it to make this work. But they break off pretty easily, so when you do the twist up, only leave as much product out as you absolutely need in order to create a line on your face. Do not make it a long line and you're just going to have to keep rolling it up as you go to make sure that it doesn't crumble and fall off. You don't want to waste product. Even if you think you're going to have enough with a whole pencil, you might not and you're going to want to have some extra to take around for like touch-ups and everything. So just keep that in mind with cream gel liners from ColourPop, they could break off easily. Some other pencils could be the same way, especially if they're like the roll-ups. So just take your time and then be careful. <laughs> and of course I ran out of the eye pencil, so that is all I have of what's left from my paint from last Halloween. I only saved the jar in the event I wanted to take a picture of this paint set that I have. So there was a couple crumbles in there and they had totally dried up. 
So as I started doing this tutorial, I actually poured some water into the pot and just tried to get out as much color as possible. I started with my finger, but it just wasn't working. So that's why I switched over to using the water just to make it a little bit more fluid. But I also had to be careful to make sure that I didn't put too much water on the brush and placing it on my face because I didn't want the clean gel liner that I had used to fade away or, you know, melt off. So I had to be really, really careful. So this tutorial was a bit of a struggle, so that's why, you know, it didn't turn out perfectly. But at least it can teach you, you know, what to look out for and basically the technique of what you need to do. You just got to make sure that you have enough product whenever you are doing it. And also this is an unconventional way of doing this type of tutorial. Typically you would just use face paint, so you could use a black face paint and a white face paint, but I did not have those available to me. I had a little bit of a black uh, face paint left from last year, but it was like, like I said, the paint face paints that I had from last year kind of dried out a little bit. More working as well, I didn't think I would have enough for it, of it anyway, so I just decided to use the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. So uh, if you're on a budget and you have to just work with what you got, go for it. But if you can afford to get face paints, I would highly recommend using face paints for this tutorial. I think they'll just make your life so much easier. I will say though, if the liquid lipstick doesn't irritate your face, it really did a good job of staying in place. Sometimes paints are kind of hard to work with, but I actually felt like the black liquid lipstick was easier to work with than a face paint. Uh, just because it's thicker and it sticks and it's easier to work with. I feel like with paint, face paint that I've used before, I've had to like kind of do multiple layers. With the liquid lipstick, you get it right away. So it's like really not an issue, but if you have sensitive skin, it might be a bad idea. And it's also really hard to get off. The liquid lipstick is really hard to get off. I actually had to go in with olive oil because it was just getting too hard to get off. So it does have the staying power, but it's hard to get off. So you just kind of weigh out the pros and cons of your options. But I'm just kind of putting everything out there for you so that you can make your decision. Oh my god, I have an itch. Oh my god, I have an itch. Right now. I'll just tap it. It's not there. All right, now that I've taught you guys how to attack an itch whenever you are doing a makeup look, we are gonna get into the mouth of Jack Skeleton. So I'm gonna be, once again, using the ColourPop with the lipstick in Friday. And I'm starting with the mouth and then I'm gonna work my way out. As you have noticed repeatedly in this tutorial, I start from the middle or from the center and I work my way out. And that helps you give, get a better idea of how to do the tutorial, where you wanna go next and whatnot. So then I start working my way out with the mouth. I did notice with this mouth, it kind of curved up. So I was trying to make it curve a little bit down, but it did cause me some issues. And I do have to keep re-dipping into the liquid lipstick to get enough color because you don't want to be scrubbing too hard because I don't want to pull away the white that I already put on there. And you know, I'm just kind of working away. So I want it to be smooth, the line in the mouth and then working, away, and it's working its way out towards the ears. So it's kind of like I have to play around with it and the only problem is I don't have much room for forgiveness because I don't have any more white available to me. So I did make this lip a little bit thicker than I wanted. I guess it ended up being fine, but you can make it thinner. Uh, it's just I was trying to match it up with the lip and the mouth. So you just gotta just take your time. If you can fix mistakes because you have extra product around then that works too. But just start with the center and then work your way out, draw a line just take your time. And now we are going to do the teeth, which the teeth here are much simpler for this particular skeleton tutorial in comparison to other ones that are out there and ones that I have done in the past. For Jack's skeleton, you really don't need to, you know, outline any teeth or make, make it dimensional or do any shading. You can really keep it simple. If you want to shade, you can go for it. But I figured for this tutorial, it'd be the best one to do the most simple way, which is just creating lines. So you're going to start from the upper part and then work your way down. And then you can just keep dipping in and out of the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. Uh, if it doesn't come off like perfectly dark, that's actually fine because that can provide a little bit of shading. If it doesn't wipe off perfectly, if it has like a little of the white peeking through, that can provide shading. But I just kind of keep dipping it into the ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. And then I start once again from the center of my mouth and then I work my way out towards the ear. Then you just need to put black eyeliner on your upper and lower waterline. Now we're gonna do the nose. This is really unsanitary. I'm gonna, I will admit that, but I'm very dedicated to my Halloween look, so I just don't care. So uh, if you ever put your liquid lipstick in your nose, do not share it and make sure you sanitize it. Not that it matters because I'm dipping it back into the tube, but 
we're just going to pretend like that's not happening. And with Jack Skellington's nose, his nostrils are the most prominent part of his nose, so I'm trying to fill the nostril in. Once again, working from the inner part and working my way out. And then I also go on top of my nose on the front part of it and work my way up towards the tip. So you just kind of take your time with it. Keep looking at the picture, referencing it to make sure that it's looking as close to it as possible. I have another reach. Same spot. Same spot. So right now I am just finishing up the last part of the tutorial, which is just making the nostrils look as close to possible as possible to Jack Skellington. So that is what I'm working on now. But that is it for this tutorial. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are planning on being for Halloween. Mikey, if you get near that window string. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click that little bell so that you're notified of when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! So here is Marvelous. This one I think is the most transitional between all seasons. I think it'd be great for fall, winter, spring, and summer. And also the most wearable shade in the collection. The next shade that we have is Red Vixen. This is a really beautiful deep red. Another good lipstick that you can wear both in 